Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, for calling this uh, important hearing, uh, reviewing some of the performance of the Federal Air Marshal Service. Um, unfortunately, well, unfortunately, the FAMS, uh, Federal Air Marshal Service, has had a recent history of um, a whole host of uh, misconduct by uh, on a whole host of occasions. We have had the gun purchase scandal, uh, air marshal schedu scheduling scandal and allegations, cronyism and discrimination issues, air marshals dependent on drugs and alcohol. Uh, and you were brought in, Ms. Mr. Director Ellison, uh, when last year? Yes, sir, June kind of 2014. Clean things up. And I think the chairman's been pretty complimentary in some of your efforts in trying to uh, put some of that behind us, institute some corrective measures, and also hold people accountable. And part of this hearing was also to, to highlight your successes. Unfortunately, um, the allegations and the problems still continue. As recently as uh, I'm told, September 3rd, you informed the committee of an ongoing investigation. This is a new one into solicitation of prostitutes. Um, is that correct? Yes, sir. And, and that's an ongoing investigation, uh, correct? Yes, sir. In March, T TSA uh, began investigating a workers' compensation fraud case in the Chicago FAMS office. Um, this is a, a, allegedly an air marshal claim that he hurt his shoulder. However, I guess there's some uh, videos and some other evidence uh, disputing his claim. So we have that case pending too. Is that investigation underway or um, continuing? Yes, sir, that is an active investigation. Well, um, we set up, when we, when we set up all the security measures after 9-11, we tried to have a layered system. And uh, we uh, first uh, ex dramatically expanded the air marshals. There were only a handful on the eve of 9-11. And we think that's an important uh, element in a layered system. We've gone from 16,500 screeners to uh, some 46,000 screeners and almost 60,000 TSA employees. That's about right, isn't it, Ms. Book? Yes. 46,000, yeah. Back in 2007, we had, um, we had 30,000 screeners, and this was a leaked report. Uh, it was in CNN, and it said there's a 70 five percent failure rate in the screener's ability to detect explosive devices and other devices that could do harm. Then most recently we've had, I guess USA Today had a leaked report, it's about a 95 percent failure rate. These are anecdotal to press reports. Are you familiar, Mr. Allison, and this book with those reports? Yes, sir. Yeah. We're all familiar with so, those reports. Uh, we built a system. We've increased the number of personnel from 16 to 30,000 for screeners, then to 46,000 currently for screeners. It's gotten worse rather than better. We've had a history of um, misconduct and problems with FAM, which is a backup. Fortunately, we have thousands of airline pilots who have gone all the way to uh, New Mexico, wherever they're trained to arm themselves and, uh, and uh, also protect us. But the layered system that FAMS is so important to uh, fill part of that layer, uh, unfortunately, still has some serious problems. Is that correct, Mr. Ellison? I uh, prefer to look at those as challenges and opportunities, Mr. Congressman. Well, it's not an opportunity when, when the reports we get. Now, you, it's nice that you come to us and tell us about it, but it looks like we still have problems. I haven't gotten into scheduling, and I'd like you to provide the committee with some information that, that could be part of the record, either, either kept classified. I want to know about overseas flights and how many of those are covered. 
I'm told you're not covering those overseas flights. Almost every instance, Richard Reed, the liquid bombers, the diaper bomber, all of these people coming, uh, trying to do us harm are coming uh, in or involve international flights and you're not properly scheduling folks. So I think that should be reported back to the committee, how many people you have on this and the problems that uh, are not being aired publicly about our most at risk flights and then uh, our backup system with air marshals uh, not operating the way it should. I yield back. Thank the